Hello. So this is GCE 2024 paper one that I want to discuss with you. We are going to revise through questions from question one to question seven. So I'll be answering them in parts. So the first part is from question one to question seven. So the first question is saying evaluate. We are told to evaluate that. Each time you are given a question like this, you need to understand that this power is appearing or this power is on these numbers that are inside there. So meaning 8 is raised to the power 2 over 3. 27 is raised to the power 2 over 3. So it can be written as 8 is raised to the power 2 over 3. We also have a 27 raised to the power 2 over 3, like that. So this is the power, which is just the same as, it means that the root that we are using is 3. So we can write that as 3, we write it here, 8 there, then everything raised to the power 2. I put a 2 there, same applies down here. I put a 3 there because that is a load that is down there. Then 27 there, everything raised to the power 2. So this is just the same as you ask yourself, which number can you multiply 3 times to get 8? There is a 3 there. Which number can you multiply 3 times by itself to get 8? It is 2. So it is 2 to the power 2. That is power 2 there. Over. Which number can you multiply 3 times by itself to get 27? It is 3. So it is 3 to the power 2. Then 2 to the power 2 means 2 times 2. That is 4. Over. Then we've got this one that is here. 3 to the power 2. 3 times 3. That is 9. So this was the first answer. The answer was 4 over 9. This is how you get to answer it. We move to the next one. We are taught to simplify. So we are answering these questions. So we are taught to simplify. We move to question number 2. Question number 2. First thing, you start multiplying. You remove the brackets 4 times x. That is 4x. 4 times negative 2. That is negative 8. 3 times 2x, that is plus 6x. Nega 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9. At this point, we have to group the like terms together. So what are we going to do? This is 4x plus 6x. Nothing is crossing the equal sign, so everything remains the same. Then we've got negative 8 minus 9. Negative 8 minus 9. You forget about the variables. Just concentrate on the numbers. 4 plus 6, that is 10. Then what is the variable x? We move here. We are now in this part. This is what? Same signs, you need to add, then maintain the sign. So we are adding. 8 plus 9, that is 17. The sign is negative, so negative 17. Meaning this is the answer. This is what we are supposed to do. We are done with that one. We move now to question number 3. Question number 3, they are telling us to say solve the equation. They are telling us to say solve the equation. How can we solve this particular equation? For us to solve this equation, we just need to get this one equal to 0. So you are going to get 3x minus 5, you equal to 0. You say, or oh, you get this one equal to 0. x plus 2, you equal to what? You equal to 0. It is at this point now where you are going to solve this equation, you solve this other equation. So here, this is the same as 3x is equal to this is negative when it goes to the other side to the other side it becomes positive 5 or this is x is equal to negative 2 
it is uh, negative, it is positive. When it crosses the equal to sign, it changes to negative. 0 minus 2, that is negative 2. Same here, 0 plus 5, it is 5 here. You divide both sides by 3. I also divide here by 3, such that this and that going to cancel out. Then what I'm going to mean with is x is equal to 5 over 3. So this is my answer. I'm done with that. Here I say, oh, that one is just x is equal to negative 2. So this is what I'm supposed to do. I move now to the last question where I'm told now to factorize completely this one. Question number 4. I'm told to factorize 7x squared minus 7. Which number is common? 7 is common. 7 into 7x squared, that is just x squared minus 7 into 7, that is 1. I do this. You now able to understand that this one can be further factorized because this is difference of two squares. That one there, it is just the same as 1 to the power 2. Then this can be written as 7, then we've got x minus 1, x plus 1. So this is the answer. To differentiate the two, it is very important to put the square brackets where you get to do this. It is very important to do it that way, to separate them. So this is how you need to answer question 1 to 4. Let us now move to question 5, 6, and 7. Okay, so these are the questions from question uh, 5, 6, and 7. The question is saying, question number 5, describe the shaded legion. We want to describe this shaded legion. So how can we describe that? Have you seen? They don't want what is in A. Our concentration should just be what B and C, where these are intersecting. So you say A complement intersection what B union C. So this is what you just need to do. That is the answer. Have you seen? This is the what? This is the answer. Even as we continue with this, those of you that would like to join us, we offer tuitions in mathematics, chemistry, physics, and biology. WhatsApp me on this number. This is my WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp me on this number. 0971 WhatsApp me if you want to join us. Are you a GCE candidate or an internal candidate? We are here to prepare you for your exams. So this is my number. We offer live sessions where you are able to see what I am doing and ask questions where you are not clear. I move now to this other question. A businessman got 800 shares worth 7,200 quarter. What was the cost of each share? So if you've got 800 shares, and they are telling you that these 800 shares worth 7,200. What is the cost per share? You just need to get this same number, 7,200, divide by what? 800. This, 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 this. 72 divided by 8, that is 9. So meaning it is what? 9 quarter. You do this. It is 9 quarter per what? 9 quarter per share. This is what you just need to do. As simple as that. Hope you've seen. You just need to get to this one, divide it by that. Because I've told you that you are dealing with what? 800 shares that cost that. Then per share, you get to this one, divide it by that. So it is what? 9 quarter per share. As simple as that. I guess you people are able to see what I am doing. Then we move now to the next question. The sequence 2017 14 is an arithmetic progression. So this is an AP. Find the ninth term. They want us to find the ninth term. Then the next question, they want us to find the sum of the first 10 terms. How do we answer 
such a question. You know that for you to find the ninth term, that is the formula for any term of an AP, which is like this A plus N minus 1 cross the D, which is common difference. This is the formula we get to use. So with this particular formula, you will understand that we've got D, which is common difference. How do you find the common difference? You say T2 minus T1. You know that this is T1, this is T2, this is T3. So you say this is equal to T2, that is what? That is uh, 17 minus what is uh, T1? That is 20. So meaning that the answer we are getting there is negative 3. So common difference is what? Negative 3. What is N? So you also need to know what N is. What is N? N, the number of terms we are told to find. The nth term, which is 9. Then we've got A. A is our first term. What is our first term? Our first term is 20. So I'm going to get this data, then substitute in this particular formula. What am I going to do? T9 is equal to, what is the first term? My first term, 20. Plus, what is N? 9 minus 1 cross. Common difference, negative 3. So I say term number 9 is equal to 20 like this. What is, uh, what is 9 minus 1? 9 minus 1 is 8. 8 times negative 3, this one that is outside. That is negative 24. So this is, that's the same as the ninth term is equal to negative 4. This is the what? This is the answer. So ninth term is z, negative 4. This is what you are supposed to do. The same way I'm answering these things, that's how you are supposed to answer. Even in your exams, we now move on to this question here. They're telling us to say sum of the first 10 terms. So we need to write the formula, sum. The formula we get to use is n2, I do this, then 2a plus n minus 1 cross d, like this. This is the particular formula we get to use. So this is the sum of the n terms of an AP. This is the formula you are supposed to use. Where we substitute, we know d. What is d? Negative 3. What is A? 20. That is the first term. What is N? We are taught to find the sum of the first 10 terms. So N is what? 10. I get this data, substitute it in this particular formula. So I say this is a 10 is equal to 10 over 2. 2 multiplied by 20, which is first term, plus n is what? 10 minus 1, then negative 3 there. This is what I am doing like this. So I expand this. What I'm going to do is that I will say, okay, sum of the first 10 terms is equal to, this is 5. I manipulate what is in the brackets. This is what? 40. What answer am I getting here? So this is uh, 10 minus 1, that is 9. 9 times negative 3. So 9 times negative 3, that is negative 27. This is what I'm doing, negative 27. So here, this is just the same as, if I continue with this, you now discover that you are going to have something like, I say sum of the first 10 terms is equal to, so 40 minus 27. In this paper, no calculator will be allowed. This is 3. Here you are going to have 3. 1, which is 13. So 5 multiplied by what? 13. You are going to get 5 multiplied by 13. 5 times 13, what is the answer? 13 times 5. What answer are you going to get? So the answer that we are going to get in this case, that is 5 minus 1, 5, 65. We are going to get what? 65. 
So what is the answer there? The answer is 65. This is what you are supposed to do. So just like this, you are done. This is how you need to answer that uh, these questions. So we've answered question one to seven. We are yet to finish this. So this is GCE 2024 paper one. We are going to finish it just like this in parts and sessions. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this particular video. Don't forget to follow us and let me know where you are watching me from. It's good to see uh, where your people are connecting from. Thank you so much. And I dropped a line for those of you that are interested in starting lessons with us on Telegram. These are live sessions. This is the number you need to contact. So this is my number. My number here is 0971-066747. I'm here to help you get that grade that you want in mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, as well as English language. Thank you so much.